Welcome back. Today we're going to do a quick overview of Sintrit's Flexa Soft material for their Lisa and Nils SLS printers. So flexibles. This is another flexible material they offer and it's the softest of the lot as the name suggests. It also has a 0% refresh rate, meaning you get to reuse all the unused powder over again in your next build. Now, Flexisoft is a low shore ATPU based material that can be used in design, art, uh, or the simulation of ultra soft materials. And it's, uh, it, it is the softest material that they offer uh, with a pleasant to touch rubber like feel. It is nice, it is nice. Uh, but really you're gonna use this for elastic prints and stuff that needs to be super soft and bendy. Uh, where you can actually see this, I mean, it could be gaskets, medical models like this heart here, sensory toys, things that you're supposed to touch and feel and whatnot, vibration dampeners, uh, soft stuff in general. What type of machine do you need to print this filament? Uh, basically the entire Lisa lineup from Cinera and the Nils 480 can print it. Now it does require the advanced studio software in order to slice for it, unlike Flexa Gray, but there's no nitrogen needed, so you don't have to worry about that or getting, uh, you know, chambers or nitrogen generators or anything like that. So it's an easier to print, low, uh, high accessibility material. Now, uh, by the way, if you're enjoying this type of content, let us know by hitting that like button, subscribing, and or leaving a comment down below with what you want to see next. We really do appreciate it. And let's get into some of the basic material specs. So Flexa Soft has a softening point or an HDT of 60 Celsius with a melting point of 150 Celsius. The tensile strength is about 1.8 megapascals with an elongation at break of 137%. Uh, it's definitely stretchy a little bit. Now the shore hardness is around 45A to 58A and it's definitely softer than a shoe, I would say. I don't know, I mean, it's, it's close to like a shoe, like a, you know, a Nike or something, the bottom sole. Um, but yeah, I'd say almost like a pencil eraser, maybe a tire. It's definitely, it's definitely harder than a rubber band, but it's still pretty darn soft. I mean, I can, I can actually squeeze it with my fingers and it's pressing in on the material. Um, now, all this technical data is available in the technical data sheets, so check out visionminer.com slash for links to all of those and more details. So let's go right into checking out some example parts. Uh, obviously, we've got this uh, heart model. Um, this is, I believe this is actually Flexa Bright, but it shows off a lot of the details that you can get out of the material. Very, very cool. I've got this thing, which is a, uh, this is like a wire, shroud so this is you know bendable and you've got two ends with like connectors for the ends there um but it's flexible and that could keep you know wires from bending too far or something like that it's just like a protective outer shell of some kind uh and then obviously something like this where it's an accordion and it bends and it goes around you could use you can make hoses and stuff out of this um there's a lot of different i mean soft materials. There's a lot of different things you can do. You could print something normal that is supposed to be hard and then freak somebody out when you hand it to them and it's soft. I mean, <laughs> there's a bunch of different things. Really, uh, one of the biggest cases, I believe, is phone cases. We should be doing a whole video on that, but being able to print totally customized phone cases or any kind of enclosure for that, for that matter uh, is a very cool thing because it comes out perfect. I mean, TPU on FDM isn't that hard, um, but you're limited by a lot of the geometry. You know, it doesn't do overhangs as nicely as other materials. The supports generally stick a little bit harder. Uh, so doing it in SLS really opens up the design possibilities. When we print a lattice structure like this and you can just crush it in your hand, it's one of the most satisfying things when it just pops right back to the structure it was. You know, toys would be an example. This is an example of a lattice structure being crushed. Very neat, just a very, very cool possibility. So, you know, something like this, where it's this crazy geom geometric structure, but it's flexible. So you could turn it into something like clothing or some sort of, I don't know, fashion item. Um, tires, uh, RC parts, RC tires, things of that nature. You want them to be super tough so they're not going to break, but still have some good structure to them. Things like that, robotic gripper arms. If you have something rigid and you need to make the, the it softer touch, then you know that's totally an option. Anyway, let me know down below what you would like to print in these SLS materials. What would you print? Your business, etc. Reach out if you want. If you actually got a part, we can give you a detailed cost breakdown. 
what you can actually make your parts for in quantity. And we give you the full ROI from machine depreciation to electrical to powder material cost, et cetera. So we got a lot more videos coming out. Definitely subscribe for content. And uh, we sell all kinds of 3D printing, additive manufacturing stuff from FDM systems for high temp, like Peak and Ultim, 3D scanner systems, and now of course, full SLS systems, as you see behind me here. So just give us a call. We're uh, really down to earth and we love hearing your applications and figuring out what technology is gonna work best for you. So just reach out and we'll help you with that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. And I'll see you on the next video.